Hello and welcome to drillingcontractor.org. This is Kelly Ainsworth Robinson from the 2017 IADC Well Control Conference in Galveston, Texas. I'm with Ricky Cummings, Senior Advisor for Well Control Systems for Chevron and Chairman of the API Standard 53 Committee. How are you doing today, Ricky? Great, thank you. Can you tell us about the progress and timeline on updates to API Standard 53? So the fourth edition, Addendum 1, is out currently. We're working and we've been working since 2012 on a fifth edition. Fifth edition, hopefully we'll get to API by the end of this year. It will then go into a comment period. And um, if it's a six to eight to 10 week comment period, um, industry comes back. If there's not a lot of technical revisions and the document is approved, it'll go to API in a queue and hopefully be published by third quarter of 18. What were some of the drivers for API to update the standard? The document's been out in the industry for five years now. In the fourth edition, there's a lot of informative statements. Um, While those are good and those were written in blood and they were put into the fourth edition, we want to go more normative. What this does, it allows regulators to adopt the the document as regulation, and it requires the use of more shells. So the document's now audible that we can use. Uh, That's one of the drivers. The second driver is that being that the standard 53 is for land and uh, surface offshore, as well as subsea, there's a lot of subsea emphasis in the document. So we're focused on um, in- including a lot of land changes or requirements into the document and making it clearer and easier for land operations to uh, comply with standard 53. What are some of the changes that we can expect to see in the fifth edition? A couple of the changes that you're gonna look at is, of course, I just mentioned the land um, emphasis that we're putting on there. Also for surface BOPs, it's, it's, we've looked at the rated working pressure of the BOP dictating what BOP you put on a well. And we're looking more now at the mass of the well. The, the, the highest pressure the well can see should dictate what the equipment is. If you uh, ran a piece of equipment and it has a 10,000 BOP and that's the only one available, then it doesn't make sense to put that or be required to have the requirements for a 10,000 PSI BOP on a 1,000 PSI well that it will never see. So we're trying to get smarter about the requirements. Another improvement to the document is our testing tables. We're putting all uh, frequency and testing criteria into tables in the document so that you have one-stop shop to go look at everything instead of looking in the language of the document as well as the tables. Well, thank you for joining us today, Ricky, and giving us a look at what's in store for Standard 53. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on drillingcontractor.org.